hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're just seeing my face for the very first time hi my name is adora and you're watching life with adabeke i'm a student medical student and lifestyle vlogger and welcome welcome let me know in the comments how you found my video what made you click and just you know keep watching keep watching more i want to know this information so i can keep posting my videos and doing the right things to keep attracting people just like you and if you're an og if you're my returner hello welcome 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 back no matter who you are i'm so grateful and i'm so glad that you're here you're watching me i want to thank you guys for all the massive love that you've been showing me on my previous videos i know i've been doing a lot of vlogs so i've not really been talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one. and i just want to thank you guys so much before i go into the video i just want to thank you guys where as at the time i'm filming this video we're almost at 500 subscribers so what's 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 holding us let's get to that 500 now let's just get there let's get there and uh thank you guys um mk books giveaway and pre-med books giveaway that i started will be closing this thursday so whenever the video this video this video should be coming out very soon i think in a few days so it should be closing on thursday which i think is the second second i believe thursday is the second of september so the giveaway should be closing then if you haven't entered for my mcap book giveaway the video is going to be up here please do so if you really need those books just the instructions for the giveaway are in there and the giveaway will be closed soon so in my next video i'll be announcing who the winner is essentially but let's get into the video of today <laughs> comments people are like i don't let us know how you reviewed your mk let us know how you reviewed it especially on that my um video that i did about the next step that i did and i decided today to kind of go over with you guys how i reviewed my mcat uh, practice exams so like i said in that video i took seven practice exams yes i took seven practice exams three f were from the next step exams and then i took four the four wmc um exams i didn't take the unscored one so even though wac has five i only took four because i didn't take the unscored one i was kind of running out of time but i felt like seven was enough for me and i kept on saying it that the secrets is not just taking exams it's how you review it it's how you get the feedback from those exams and that was something that you know doing next step really really taught me and i learned so much about how to review those exams how to review even my like practice questions i was doing and how to just get the most out of it essentially so i'm here to share that with you guys and hope that at the end of this video that you guys will be able to take some tools and apply that to your own studying as well as usual i know you guys have not seen this book in a while <laughs> you've not seen it in a while but she's out here she's out here so i'm going to be going over things and i'm going to be doing something cool today i'm actually going to be showing you towards the end of the video in so stay till the end towards the end of the video i'm going to be showing you guys like my actual review sheets like because i did it in excel or not excel the micro the google doc version of it is not coming to me right now um google sheets i did it in google sheets so i'll be showing you guys as in how my own looks like so you'll be seeing a live example so stay till the end watch till the end okay yeah so the very first thing i need you guys to know is that when you're reviewing choose to review in detail what do i mean by that let me tell you something you know when you're taking regular exams you know school exams and you do like a practice question practice test or something you do it you score yourself then you realize okay maybe i got 15 wrong or something and then you only review the 15 you got wrong kill that habit today no review every single question if you took an exam with 50 questions review all 50 yes i know it is time consuming i know it is hard and that goes into my second point reviewing takes time 
it takes time but that is because that is where the knowledge and that's where the juice of everything comes from reviewing those exams is going to be deadly it's going to be hard but it takes time so for me i used to take practice exams on saturday and i would take sunday off and used to take me two to three days yes monday tuesday wednesday would be spent reviewing the exam so even though it took me five to seven hours depending on if you took the old one or the new one remember like they changed the hours of the exams so even though it took me five to seven hours to actually take the exam it used to take me like two to three days to review the exams yes because you have to just go into detail every single question every question yes every single question so please review every question and take the time that it needs dedicate that time to reviewing your questions next um advice is be patient with yourself like you're going to get things wrong you're not going to be perfect i mean if you're someone like shooting for 528 and eh, maybe you're gonna be need to be perfect whatever but you know you're going to get questions wrong you're going to have made some dumb moves you're going to be like ah dang i knew that answer like why did i get it wrong or oh, dang i've never seen that question before <laughs> so yes definitely i was going to get it wrong but just be patient with yourself like take time like i remember after my third or fourth ex um, practice exam I wasn't get like as in I think I either got the same score I had gotten last time or a lower score something like that and I called my sister and said cry you guys I said cry I was like I'm putting in the work I'm putting in the effort like why why I'm doing all these things and it's not working but it was actually working because I wasn't failing the same things I failed before. I wasn't making the same mistakes I was making before. Just be patient with yourself. You're not going to get it the first time. Like I said, the first exam I took, I got a 493. 493, I think that's 20 something percentile, 28 percentile. But I ended up getting a 512 at the end of the day. So be patient with yourself and just know that the process takes time. Another thing, track everything track everything so obviously um depending on if you're like if you use blueprint like me they will be tracking your exams for you they give you like places to put like oh your chem fee score your this score your that score so track everything track metrics track just track everything you want to be making sure am i going forward am i going backwards am i stagnant be tracking it you don't want to take anything for granted even like and when I would do, because I did cars practice questions every day. Even when I would do those cars practice questions every day, I would be like, okay, out of the 15 questions I did, did I get, how many did I get right? Am I still just like, am I getting half? Like, you know, track everything. Make sure that you're keeping track of everything, every score you're getting, like all of that. Then when it comes to the actual review, one thing is, like I said, you have to review every question, but which I'll show you guys. I used to do like, I had three categories sorry two categories and then three subcategories so did i get an answer right or did i get it wrong if i got it wrong sorry if i got it right did i actually know the material did i get it down to 50 50 and then just ended up picking the right one or did i guess it's important it's important to divide it like that because if you if you if the reason why you got it right was the first category then you actually know that you know that material right you you know okay i know this i know that that's why like i know my amino acids that's why i got this answer right if you got it down to 50 50 yeah being able to eliminate is right but it might mean that you know there's still some there's still something you need to tweak for the fact that you there's still an option that is tripping you up if you guessed or more you might as well have gotten it wrong so write it down as something that you need to study again so but do you see why like reviewing even questions you got right is important because what if you guessed if it comes out again what is the guarantee that you guess again the right one you understand so to me that guest answer is as good as getting it wrong then in the wrong section in the section of what did i get it i got it wrong my first option is did i get it wrong because i did not know at all <laughs> So those were like my favorites because it's like, ah, um, <laughs> you don't even know this thing at all. You've never seen it before. So those were my, usually my first ones. Did I get it wrong because I know not at all? Did I get it wrong because I got it down to 50-50 and ended up picking the wrong one? That's not a good one to know. Like if I got it down to 50-50, it means that there is some content that I know, but I need to refine something so that I can now be picking like so that that second option will not be tripping me up again maybe did i need to miss uh, did i misunderstand something or maybe was there a little if there was this knowledge i had known piano i've gotten it right you understand and then the third one is did i get it wrong because of like like all the syntax error like it was a meeting oh you did not see not there you understand oh he said not not uh this thing oh you misread 
a coat in the cars that's why you got it wrong or you know just like all those like a little bit more effort you would have gotten it right you know you misread something you, you know so those kind of questions is like it makes me feel better okay like oh i don't be it's like those points that you could have gotten but you were letting go of you understand so those were my three options like that was how i used to track every question like that was it wrong because of blah was it wrong because of that was it right because of that is so important track then at the end of the review i would do a summary right i would do a summary i would be like okay um in out of this chem phase i realized you know i wasn't really getting questions about amino acids right so i really need to go and remove review my amino acids i wasn't really getting questions around water right i wasn't really getting questions around circuits so we're going to have to review circuits again so those kind of things so like it's a review it's like my executive summary at the end of the day about like okay what am i now going to be doing into the next week or oh, do i need to you know practice taking more of this kind of question so then i'll go to my q banks and be inside those kind of questions again so or do i need to watch a video about um metals i don't know i'm blanking on all these things but you understand so i'll go back again and you know you just do that review now i've gotten my executive summary that i can now take into my actual um day-to-day studying that i can now be like okay let me go and go more in depth into some of these things and then like <laughs> after that the best you just go forth and be great just go forth and try and put those things into practice so i'm going to be showing you guys my actual review sheets and i hope like it makes sense to you so for my editing thing i called it a lessons learned journal so it was called the lessons learned journal um for me because that was what they called it in the blueprint thing that i was using so i had one for chemistry had one for physics had ones for cars for biology biochem and psych -sosh. so that was because i had individual i had individual practice questions i was doing for each category so but let me take you guys to like my next step first full length so this is what it looked like so i had like i started reviewing from my psych -sosh session so you can see how i had like each question no question one question two question three and then I would have what question category that it was. This was how I was able to track what I needed to do better in. So like I would have that the question category was coming from 10A, which was social and inequality. So I knew they were setting like topics under social inequality. So I would have like, was it right or wrong? And I'll have why. So I had my answer key for like the why over here. You understand? So I had like right because i knew the answer right because i guess right am um, right but i used the wrong methodology like that um, mostly applied in like the chem phase section because maybe i got it right but like the way i actually calculated it is not how it's calculated and then right be but because i got it down to two so that was very important for me and then i'll have my actual lesson learned which was like um good content review like i knew the content and like just things like that so let me give another example like in the car section like this one question five i got it wrong and it was a reasoning within the text kind of question and i got it wrong because i didn't know the answer like i was and i made a note to myself when you eliminate make sure you're eliminating based on the passage and not just based on something that you thought you understand and if it's not explicitly stated be careful like don't bring in outside knowledge essentially so that's what i would tell myself like don't bring in outside knowledge um so let me go to like a chem phase one so let me see like something i got wrong because I was stuck in between two. Like this question, number three, uh, it was a 5A water question. Uh, I got it wrong and it was because I was stuck in between two and it was like, you know, I put in like boiling points. So I was probably stuck between like difference between like boiling points and melting points, something like that. So I was able to eliminate the other two, but maybe I wasn't very sure. So this is definitely a definition question. And if I know the definition next time, I'm not gonna get it wrong. So that kind of thing. So it was things like that. Um, I would keep track and I kept track of it for like everything. So you can see I kept it for full length two, full length three, <laughs> all of them. So I did that for all of them. I think towards the end, I kind of like, you know, started doing just the ones I got wrong. and But I reviewed everything, but only write down for the ones I got wrong or if it was like a section of right answers. Because I think I stopped, 
I stopped getting it down to two or using, you know, so it kind of changed towards the end, but just do what works best for you, essentially. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, <laughs> that's how I, <laughs> that's how I reviewed mine. That's how I reviewed my, my lessons learned journal. That was how it worked for me. So I did the same things even with this, like I would just say what test section I was reviewing and then I would do the same thing. It was essentially the same thing. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching me this far. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to comment. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to share. Like like I said in the beginning, my MCAT um, giveaway is still open. It will be closing on September 2nd. So please, if you know anybody who is going to benefit from this video, please, 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 um from the giveaway, please send that to them. If you know anybody who is going to benefit from this MCAT video, please send that to them. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I want to get to that 500. I want to get to 1K eventually and, you know, monetize my channel. So you guys, please help me, help me. You know, this content I keep pushing out, I, I push it up because I enjoy it, but I also want to, you know, like to continue to grow, continue to reach more people. Um, med school is great so far. Hmm. Should I do a, a video about like my, anat my reaction to starting anatomy? If you want that video, let me know the comments because oh my <laughs> me and anatomy <laughs> if you want that video let me know in the comments but um thank you guys so much and till next time like i love bringing what i bring to you guys and i hope you enjoyed this video till next time bye mm. <laughs>